I'm Angie. I'm Rhonda. And we are Adventures in Nomadness. Good morning, it's day four. We had a fantastic four. room last night at the Drovers, soaked in the big, huge, massive jacuzzi tub that we had, mm -hmm. and had a lovely breakfast with a whole bunch of other walkers this morning. And now we're just waiting for our lift over to the trailhead. Hard to believe that we've been in Scotland for 16. This is gonna wow. be the 16th day. But, so this hiking should be uh, much easier on the body. <laughs> um, and it's going to be a glorious sunny day Look today. Look at the sun! So we are so looking forward to a break in uh, sogginess and uh, don't even have my back my pack cover, my rucksack cover. But the trail's still um, going to be super muddy like it was yesterday because it just doesn't dry out that fast. So we'll have soggy conditions down below but hopefully not coming from the sky. <laughs> yeah, it'll anyway, still be better. The Drovers Absolutely. is probably the coolest old bar ever. Rhonda bought a, Rhonda bought a t shirt, bought a t shirt. And, and you says, know, how of the year 1705. Yes, and our space is limited, so that means I have to get rid of something. Yeah. <laughs> Just got out of the little pickup truck. Driver's name is John. He's up in, he's up and starting to ferry people from Drover Inn over to the basically cutting off about a mile because he doesn't take y'all back to the inn <laughs> and why would you this road is really potholed i guess it's ripping up all the vans and stuff that come in and, uh, with all the luggage at the inn so here we are west highland way temporary sign And we don't even have our coats on this morning. <laughs> So we had the pleasure of hiking a short amount of time with a local by the name of Eileen. Uh, she's done a couple, she's done parts of this hike and she's done, what was the name of it? The Great Glen Way. The, the Great Glen Way as well with full pack. So pretty impressive, but she was a sweetheart like everybody we keep meeting. Oh, I don't have my cool little hat on. I barely have to stoop down in here. Yeah, it doesn't take huh? tall. <laughs> when it's awesome to be short. This is another one of my observations about Scotland is they like their gates and they like their ladders. So um, just periodically, randomly, you'll see uh, these. This is, you know, if you need a little extra exercise because the hills haven't gotten to you, then you can do ladder exercise over a fence. And then gates, gates are cute. So why wouldn't you have lots of gates? Not really, obviously, I know what they're for. <laughs> or maybe it's not so obvious. <laughs> She's on a roll today. <laughs> It's the sun. <laughs> Getting over. Our friend can go past us because she's faster. Hey, good morning. Good morning. How are you today? Good because the sun is shining. I know. Isn't yeah. it awesome? <laughs> <laughs> so amazing. Uh, and you? Oh That's yeah, really same thing. You're awesome.
kind of trail is this? Out of the middle of nowhere. Yeah, it looks like a nice path you find in the suburbs. Somewhere. Suburbs. Yep. What's for lunch? Oh yeah, I have a cheese and onion chutney sandwich. Hopefully it's good. Chips, we've got a packed lunch. Uh, Cause there's really no, not a good place to stop on the trail. And this is a great view. So we're stopping here on a rock. So we thought we'd give you an update on day four. Uh, we passed the halfway mark of the West Island Way. Day uh, four, we've been in Scotland for 16 years. Yeah, day four of the West Island Way. And we passed the halfway mark of the West Island Way about a mile and a half ago. So woohoo. And uh, as you can tell, it's a spectac spectacular day. No raindrops whatsoever. Today, very easy terrain. Um, a few waterfalls, uh, mostly pasture early on, but now we're in the trees as we climbed out of the pastures. And it's gorgeous in here. It's all this lush ferns and moss growing. It's and really stream crossings. Very much, very much like the Northwest. So yeah, today is much easier and it's going a lot faster too because the terrain, we're, we're going up and down some hills right now, but the, the terrain uh, has been mostly flat with really nice trails. So we're making good time today. Uh, scenery again is fantastic. So a couple of the resources we've used for this trip have been, well, let's walk away from the stream, yeah. just in case you can't hear us very well. Uh, but a couple of the resources we use for this trip was a Trailblazer West Highland Way guidebook, and that's pretty much what I've seen everybody else use out here also. And we tear the pages out for each day and just take those maps. Uh, best thing I've learned, and this is from a PC tier, is to use GetHook, and it's an app for your phone. Oh my gosh, I love GetHook. It tells you exactly where you're at, and it works on your phone without you having to be uh, hooked up to Wi-Fi or uh, cell service, so uh, it works on airplane mode. So it's been great because if, th this trail is so well marked, but there's a couple of times you're like, ah, am I in the right spot? And you just pull that up real fast. I've used it a few times a day just to make sure, or just to see where the next stop is, see how far we are from the rest of the day uh, as far as where we're stopping. So it's a really great app and I can recommend that. I haven't really used the paper map at all. Uh, just because I just pull out gut hook instead. Because this particular stretch has a lot of other trails, it's really important to keep an eye on the markers. We we have met a few people that uh, probably hiked up about a mile too far on one trail mm -hmm. because they missed the marker, and I almost did the same thing because I saw people going that way. Yeah, we saw people up a hill, and Rana started going up that way. I'm like, hey, wait, it says to go this way. So we went the right yeah, way. We went the right way only because we were both paying attention. No, only because I was paying we attention. We were both <laughs> paying attention. I was paying attention to one sign, and she was paying attention to the real sign. Yeah. I was paying attention. And what I meant to say, it miles. helps when there's two people. It does. It definitely uh, does. Because and then when in doubt, pull out the app or the, or the map, and just to make sure you're on the trail. Yeah, anytime it's, something T's or Y's or... You should always just be those. looking yeah. for something. So onward to uh, Tindrum today, where we're going to stay at Clifton Cottage. Uh, it's pretty cool. We also uh, had breakfast late this morning um, because we had to wait for a ride. And it was really nice because we met a lot of people this morning that we hadn't met otherwise. Had a chance to chat with a few more people because we're hiking with a lot more people today since we got that later start. Fun fact we just learned, because they have these little signs in this little section right here. See? Anyway, it says, this is one of the wettest parts of Britain with an annual rainfall of over 2.5 meters, four times the rainfall of Edinburgh. It rains on average 280 days a year. Well, of course it does. We think we've hit all of them except for today. Let's measure right there. Yeah, it's this pretty. Whole, this whole little system right over here. Yeah, that's pretty cool.
How many these guys have been stamped up by the weight of the sword? Thank you for the fine Scottish hospitality. This has been a highlight of our walk so far. Yay! Do you understand anything that you said? Yes, a little bit. You understand it, you just don't understand tax drivers. You understand us. This is day 17 in Scotland and day five of our West Highland Way with zero miles. <laughs> it's a zero day. So end of day four was yesterday, but things happened pretty fast and we couldn't do a wrap up yesterday, uh, but it was pretty entertaining and the Scottish people are awesome. So we were coming out uh, into town and there was a, basically a detour on the West Highland Way. We were looking at the sign, trying to figure out where we needed to go. And this big, huge hiking group shows up and, and uh, we had tried to avoid them earlier because it was day a big hiking. group. Yeah, yeah, day hiking. Uh, we had tried to avoid them earlier when we saw them just because they were a big group and, and you know, talking and kind of loud and everything. <laughs> anyway, we're at the sign and they show up and they're like, oh no, you just go, just go with us. We were there earlier through this section and it's Saturday, so the workers aren't working on the bridge and uh, we'll take you into Tindrum. And so we decided, all right, whatever sounds good. So we ended up walking with this hiking group for uh, about two miles. They were very joyful and gregarious and everything uh, you would kind of think of as a typical Scottish hospitality. Um, they were full of stories and full of history. Saw the spot where Robert the Bruce's sword was supposedly thrown into and then they pointed out what this big battle happened so we actually learned a lot in the last two miles that we wouldn't have otherwise because we opened up um kind of opened up ourselves to to being uh with this hiking group for the last walking couple miles slower yeah walking slower that's okay it was a fantastic end of the day uh, they were very just very welcoming and gave us all hugs at the end along with a shot of uh, Drambui <laughs> to get us on our way. And yeah, so that was supposed to help us get up Ben Nevis when we get to the end. Yes, they said you have to do Ben Nevis at the, the end. The highest, uh, basically the highest mountain. In Great Britain. Uh, in yeah, Great Britain. In the UK. So, yeah. so if uh, we have the energy we'll do Ben Nevis on our off day supposedly off day in Fort William. So that was the end of day four and we checked into Clifton Cottage behind us. Oh, oh my gosh, the, the owners are fantastic. This is how a B&B &B should be. From the bus from Tindrum to Oban on our zero day or day off on the West Highland Way. This bus is really nice for some of these long distance routes. We're gonna be taking a bus back to when we're done with the West Highland Way from Fort William back to Glasgow for our flight to Iceland. Pretty comfy, pretty cushy. You know, we met a guy coming out of our b, &B that was walking, like, where are we going to today? He told us, and he said he took a, a day off yesterday too, went to Obe, he says, well worth it. So it's uh, a lot of people had said they really wish they had built in a day off too. So glad we did. That was good. My little toe hurts. <laughs> My little toe needs to recover. But you know, what's really nice is when you start chatting with people over your shared experience, how many other people have little toe blisters and all these other blisters and blisters on top of the blisters. So after a few days you start having that shared experience with people that you can chat about. And uh, it's a lot of fun to chat with people from all over the world that are experiencing the same thing that you are.
at one more distillery yeah. tasting with Ogun, and their distillery here, Ogun Distillery, is supposed to be one of the finest and one of the oldest too. So we're here at Ogun for a couple hours, and you know, when in Rome, gotta try the whiskey. So here we are. We just did a few stirs. And we're both tired because our legs are a little bit jelly-like. So we're going way up this hill. And the stairs are kicking our butts after 50 plus miles. round circular thing on the hill that's called McKaig's Tower. It was built from 1897 to 1900 by unemployed stonemasons, uh, paid for by uh, John Stuart McKaig. Can't remember a lot of stuff I can read right here. Anyway, he was a banker and it was built as a memorial to himself and his family. So it just kind of stands as this really cool monument above Oban. <laughs> 